Round of applause. Come on, guys. Hello. Hello, everyone. Good morning. Uh, my name is Harish Dodi, uh, and I'm one of the co-founders for Digitron, which, where we provide a model governance platform uh, for regulatory industries. Um, <clears throat> let me quickly see how this works, actually. Um, so a little bit, uh, uh, a brief overview about our company. The founders of the company, uh, they're one of the early people in Twitter, Lyft, and Snap places. We have uh, done a lot of machine learning, AI applications in these places. Um, and we are primarily using our experience uh, when it comes to scaling machine learning applications. Um, and we are using that to actually build it for the enterprise. Um, and a quick overview. Uh, about our company. We started in 2016, we raised some seed money. Um, today we are actually live with several large enterprises in production, and we are getting increasing a lot of traction from regulatory industries, one of them being the financial services and telecom. Uh, we our technology is also recognized by some of the prominent names, one of them being Gartner, uh, in the AI core technology field, primarily in the model governance category. Uh, let me explain to you a little bit about what is model governance. Uh, in the last few years, uh, data scientists have been hired uh, uh, in every industry possible, fintech, uh, whether it is uh, telecom, uh, a regulatory sector, insurance, and all these things. Uh, if you see that uh, today they are actually building models, targeting for their end users, there are models for ad targeting, marketing campaign targeting, loan mortgage applications, trading models. There are so many models that are being developed. We call this primarily the development phase, the model development phase, in which the model developers are using the, these algorithms to actually come up with the models. However, in a regulatory industry, when it, it's quite different how you take the models into production environment, you need to Pro follow proper uh, regulations, meaning that uh, the model is, has to be compliant and risk-free, um, and that's why there has to be model validation measures, techniques, that need to be followed. Um, and finally, you actually, when you take the model into production, you want to make sure the model is being properly governed through proper process controls. Uh, so let me actually tell you one of the use cases we are working uh, right now. We are working on this with two large banks in US. Uh, today, when models are being developed by these data scientists, they actually develop models in across the framework, across the ecosystem of tools that are available. However, when you actually want to promote a model into production, uh, there is something called as a governance team, which actually falls under the risk management organization. Uh, they get involved, and they need to make sure that these models are following the proper compliance and make sure that they have a lot of control on the production environment. Because whenever models have problems in production, and let's say the trading model has lost money, or you are using some features uh, against the privacy law, like California privacy law, uh, all these models will be uh, gone through regulators and auditors. And this will involve in uh, a lot of fines if you don't follow proper measures. And most importantly, it's a big reputation issue. So data uh, uh, management uh, platform, it's uh, primarily providing a very controlled production environment where people can try out uh, multiple models, hundreds of models, or even like thousands of models scalable, uh, where they actually have control on the model, and they can compare and contrast how these models are performing with the baseline models, competitive models, or even other third-party vendor models. And then they have a uh, decision that they can take whether they want to promote these models into a production environment or not. And even m more, uh, when you are actually having production issues, it's usually not the data science teams that are being pinged today because they actually have the governance teams which are sitting under risk organizations who are more responsible for this. And if you don't have this type of platform that can automate things, things will be very slow. And these are our play main platform offerings. Uh, we provide the center model catalog where models can be registered, and we provide a standardized deployment, monitoring, uh, and challenger, which is our patented component, ability to trying out multiple versions of the models, and finally the governance, where every single action in the platform gets logged, and you can go back in history and replay things in a very controlled environment. 
Our platform, the main users, uh, end users are the engineering, data science, and the governance teams. Uh, the buyers are usually chief data officers or chief risk officers. Um, and our platform is, it can be installed completely in your on-prem as well as inside your cloud environment. <clears throat> Yeah, uh, and the last slide is primarily like we, this, the, the, the idea of bringing automation for regulatory industries at large scale is going to help to, for, for data science efforts to be scaled in production. Thank you. Um, how does this integrate with um, traditional source code controls like Git and other things? Uh, we actually have a integration uh, for GitHub Bitbucket. So if you're already using GitHub or Bitbucket, that's an integration thing that you configure as part of the installation. On machine learning models, are you also able to do explanatory AI of how decisions work? <clears throat> Not right now, but that is part of our roadmap. Uh, we are actually going in that direction. Uh, what we are observing from the feedback from the market is uh, the risk and compliance is right now, the pain point, and then the explanatory. Two handhelds. So uh, in terms of going to market, um, how are you uh, uh, approaching uh, companies that are doing this kind of work? Yeah, <clears throat> so um, <clears throat> I think some of the advantages with our platform is uh, we don't do any model development work, which means that you can move across vendors or you can move across cloud, on-prem, and all those things. So we don't, uh, that's a big uh, advantage for, in general, for large organizations because we don't know how they want to do it in future. Uh, second thing is we are seeing that um, the uh, organizations that are seeing attraction for this type of tool is primarily coming from regulatory sector, like banking, insurance, healthcare. Uh, and these regulatory sector, all our features and our roadmap is going in that direction, which will be uh, quite competitive, and that's why in future we see that this company will become a reg tech company. And once we get uh, some regulatory certifications, like down the road, like in a couple of years, we just, we, we'll just be like a model governance regulatory tool. Excellent. Thank you, Datatron.